Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and today we've got a quick video review of the Mountain House Scrambled Eggs with Bacon Freeze-Dried Long-Term Food Solution. So let's get to it. Okay, so we know the value in keeping some shelf-stable food on hand at all times, whether you know there might be a natural disaster nearby or a snow emergency, or whether you just wanna keep some food in your storehouse for the what ifs of life. So that's why I'm checking out these Mountain House products and I've been going through Backpackers Pantry and finding the different ones that are out there. So today we're gonna do a little review. We're gonna cook this stuff up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what it's like and I will make a recommendation uh, based on what I honestly and truthfully think. So here we go. First of all, let's take a look at the ingredients. Okay, just upon first inspection, it just says here, freeze-dried, pre-cooked scrambled eggs. We've got whole eggs, egg yolk, non-fat dry milk, modified corn starch, uh-oh, that could be nasty there. Corn oil, salt, yeast extract, uh-oh, that's MSG. Uh, sunflower oil, smoked flavor, and then they have freeze-dried bacon, and down at the bottom it says contains eggs and milk. Okay, well, that's enlightening. So with a name like scrambled eggs and bacon, I would at least hope that they would have eggs in the product. So Mountain House, wow. Um, one thing though, it does have MSG in it. Uh, not good for your body. That's the kind of thing that you know, you're gonna look past if obviously you're in a survival situation or, or, or whatever. If, if you're having to, to use this as a matter of necessity, you're probably not gonna be too picky about every little thing that goes in there, but this is definitely not good for a normal day-to-day -day food supply kind of thing for you because of the MSG. It's flat out and not good for you. Uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and um, cook it up and see what we got. The instructions pretty much say that you open this up, you take out your oxygen absorber, you carefully add one cup of boiling water, you stir it up, seal it back up, and then you wait five to six minutes, drain off any excess liquid, and then you will be in dining in delightful heaven. So here we go, opening it up. And looking for the oxygen absorber. There it is, get rid of that, don't eat it. Look at that delightfulness. Oh my gosh, mmm. Kinda looks like really, really, really big Captain Crunch. Well, there we go. So in goes the cup of boiling water. There we go. Now we're gonna stir it up as it is asking for. Yeah, stir, stir, stir. There we go. Now we're gonna seal this guy up as per the request. And now we will wait five to six minutes. Uh, just side note right now though, the bacon smells pretty good. So there you go. I know you can't smell that, but if you could, you would agree with me. Bacon smells good. Okay, so we've waited our six minutes. The bag is still very, very hot. <coughs> and woo, yeah. <coughs> We're gonna need to drain that water like they say. Okay, so we ran into a slightly potential whatever, I don't know what you want to call it. I, I drained off the water from the bag, but there was a ton of water. And so I actually even went to the extent of using a strainer to get more of the water off. And as you can see here, there's still lots of liquid on there, but this is after I actually used a strainer. And in the instructions, they say, hey, you can eat, and eat it right in the bag and all that. And after I'm looking at this, I'm kind of wondering no longer why they said eat it in the bag, because you really don't want to look at it, but hey, here we go. We're gonna eat some of this and see what it's like. All right, so here we go. Mountain House eggs with bacon. Okay. Real gritty. Um, the flavor's not bad. Surprisingly not bad flavor. This is just straight out of the bag though. I'm gonna go ahead and get some hot sauce, yes, and some salt, be right back. Round two, salt and a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. Okay, now that is edible. The bacon is still a little crunchy and the texture of the eggs is still a little weird, but solidly edible. 
All right, so the Mountain House scrambled eggs with bacon, freeze-dried food, long-term storage solution kind of thing. And here it is, this is my opinion. It's food. Um, is it the greatest thing ever? No, but if you're hungry and you're in a, a situation where you know food is scarce, you're gonna be happy to get it. If you're a backpacker or uh, somebody who likes to go camping, it's nice and light, very convenient. You can cook it straight in its own bag. You just need some hot water and a little bit of time. And uh, I found that, you know, a little bit of seasoning and some um, you know, salt, and I like Frank's Red Hot Sauce. So I put that in there and it actually made it bearable. That said, the, the, the texture of the eggs is weird, but if you're hungry, you're gonna eat it, A. B, yeah, I mean, it's long-term food storage. It's gonna last a long time on your shelf. So the trade-off is definitely there. So I, I would, the only thing I can knock it on, to be, to be honest, is the MSG. You, there, you, there's no reason to have the MSG in the food. Um, so it's definitely not something for a day-to-day -day thing, uh, but for long-term food storage, camping, stuff that you can just set on your shelf and forget about it and come back in two years from now, it's still great. Uh, then, then that's definitely a, uh, a use I would think that this Mountain House scrambled eggs and bacon would be good for. Now, that said, what I'm gonna, I'm adjusting for everything. There is one other slight negative. This thing was six bucks and that's at the big Wally World store, right? Um, that seems a lot to me for what you get. It, it was, uh, not a massive amount of serving and i guess you're paying for the convenience or you're paying for the freeze drying process even still though i mean eggs and little fake bacon pieces or whatever that was um it you know it, it seems like a lot of money now considering the msg considering the cost and then the weird texture i've got to go with a seven out of ten in terms of food storage now just keep that in mind this is a food storage rating because, I mean, are you gonna sit down and eat that over fresh eggs and bacon? No. So you can't compare that. You can't compare it to regular food that you're gonna cook up fresh. This is, this is of the storage, on the shelf, long-term mentality. That said, I'm going seven out of 10, because believe me, well, if you've had MREs, they, are, uh, they can be challenging at times. So this is not that bad. Um, anyway, seven out of 10. So hope you liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to click like and subscribe and share it with your friends because it truly does help my family out. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.